Hi everyone. Now we will learn how we can apply validation on Angular template driven forms. So we will apply uh, five kind of validation for you can see there, there will be one more validation. First one is required, uh, then minimum length validation and maximum length validation also. We will see how we can uh, validate email and drop down also. And after that we will see how we can apply a validation according to the regex or pattern. And after all of these things we have to uh, display a validation message with the input fields and we will make our button also disable if any of the input field is not valid. And at last we will discuss some important interview questions related to template driven form validations. So in last part we created the simple form so we will use this form only. So if you don't have any idea like how we can create this simple template driven form you can watch our previous part link is given in the description box otherwise if I will start uh, creating this form again then it will take 5-4 minutes and again we will waste that time so better you can watch our previous uh, session and this is angular 19 playlist that will definitely help you out for angular job project and interviews you can access this playlist from description box of this part cool uh, let's see how we can apply the validations so here you can see that uh, this is our app.component.html file and one more thing guys keep in mind whenever we will use template driven form we have to put validation in the html file only and when we are using reactive form in angular that time we have to put the validation in the component file only all right okay so let's say you want to put a validation to for required the name like name should be uh, cannot be empty there then what you need to do first of all you have to put the validation there just use a required uh, property there and with this you have to give the name to this field so let's say I'm giving the name only because either you can use the username also whatever you want to use you can use no issue okay and uh, now if this is required and uh, you are using their uh, uh, you can say that um, name to it then you have to use their ng model with this and after that let's come to the browser and check there now you will see there are some classes which is ng untouch persistent uh, and then ng invalid what are these classes see invalid means because this field is a required field so it cannot be empty so if i just put something then you will see this is valid now and now this is ng dirty ng dirty means we typed something there right and if i just refresh then you will see at the first attempt this is untouched untouched means we haven't touched this field even single time after refresh so if i just click inside this or focus inside this then go outside then you will see this is ng touched okay okay so now you can see that this field is invalid if we are not entering any value there so according to that we can put a validation so what validation i can put uh, let me take a span there and i will put there name is required field this is very simple and i will just show this if our uh, this field is uh, you can say that invalid right but now in all of the scenarios this is visible so i have to put here some conditions so to put the condition we will use ng if and we have to import them so in the import simply put there ng if like this okay and after that come here and just use star ng if and you can put the condition uh, name dot invalid this name come from there with the ng model so name dot invalid now you will see still uh, the name is uh, required uh, text is still there if i just put something there then this is gone from there and again if i just remove then again we get that message so there are two things initially we don't want to see this if user just start typing this or just this is touched after that this will this should be visible for that what you can do you can put an end condition name dot touched like this and now by default this is not visible but if i just try to type something and then i remove go outside then this is visible and better if we can just show it in the red color so if you will see in the app.component.ts we have a class with the name of error and color is red there so come back there and simply use class error and now you will find 
uh, if I just type perfect, there is no issue. And if I just remove, now you can see that name is required. Great. Now the thing is, so let's say uh, password and uh, for a moment, let's think password and gender is not required, but name is required. But you are still able to click there. So if any of the field is not uh, valid, then this should not be uh, enabled. So for that, what we can do, uh, see, whenever any of the field is invalid, then our form is also invalid. You can see that this is the form and this is also invalid. And if I just type something, then this is valid, right? So according to this, our form name is this, right? User form. You can put some conditions, disabled, and there you can see, you can check if uh, user form dot invalid, then it should be disabled. And if I just enter name, you can see that this is also enabled. I just remove, we have error, and this is also disabled. Perfect. Now the next thing is how we can uh, put the minimum and maximum validation. Okay, so for that, uh, I will go for password. So there, it sh this field should be required, first thing. Second thing, the minimum length should be, let's say, 5. And the maximum length should be, let's say, 10. Right. And uh, uh, I will just use there one span also. And I will mention there uh, password is required. required min length i'm not putting the exact test i'm just trying to save the time you can see that minimum length is 5 and max is let's say 10 right so right now you will see this is visible but we have to put some conditions right and to use the validation we have to give make it uh, ng model for this then just put the password is ng model and uh, you can even if you want you can just simply copy this all classes right then yep use it like this and to better you can change this name with the password and that's all right now again if i just put there one come outside then you can see that Password is required, minimum length is uh, 5 and maximum length is 10. Uh, then if I just remove still the error is same. So if I just put there, let's say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now this is valid, right? And if I just try to put more than 10, it will not accept. I'm just trying to type there, but this is not working. Less than 5, uh, uh, five this is showing the error, all right? So let me put there anil 1, 2, 3. This is perfectly fine. And the add user is still disable because name is also a required field so if i just put the name then it will uh, enable again if i just make this invalid uh, add user will be uh, also disabled okay perfect now let's say i just want to uh, provide the email validation right so let me create one more field there password i'm replacing it with the email i have to replace in the many places type could be email then required these things we can remove then name is also email placeholder enter email then for ng if we have to replace password with the email and password is required not required what i'll put there please enter valid password uh, valid email cool so if i just put there let's say a b c come outside then nothing is visible there reason because we haven't provided any validation so just just put their email property and now if i just put their triple a then you can see that you can see that there is a validation message please enter valid email and what should be a valid email anil at the rate test.com and if i just put again test you will see this is the invalid email it will not work right okay and if i just put the password also some proper password and some name then this is enabled now 
वन मोर थिंग दैट आई वॉन्ट टू चेक पैटर्न और यू कैन सी दैट रेजेक्स वी वॉन्ट टू टेस्ट ओके सो फॉर दैट अगेन टू सेव द टाइम जस्ट कॉपी द ई मेल पुट देयर एंड जस्ट यूज फॉर एड्रेस राइट देन जस्ट रिप्लेस ई मेल विद द एड्रेस please enter valid address email address dot of touch and uh, valid okay now uh, what validation we want to apply there we want to use a pattern there pattern means uh, regex you can see that in simple words so here i want to only see numeric and uh, alphabetic values no special character right so that's why i just put there uh, square braces there then small a to z it should work fine then capital a to z it should also work fine then 0 to 9 it should work fine then space should be included and at last just use the plus sign now if i just enter something let's say anil perfect no issue uh, or let's say house number 200 this is perfect if i just put there at the rate you will see this is the invalid address if i just put there dollar or exclamatory this is the invalid address the, it will not accept only numeric and alphabetic values are accepted there accepted there right and for same address is also uh, add but add user is also disabled now let's move to the last one again i am taking this pan just below to the select field and there uh, let's provide the ng model also hash gender and it should be required we can say that and now gender uh, should be should not be invalid should uh, not be should not be touched and then put there please enter uh, and then here we can say that gender or better is please select or select gender like this perfect now let's see okay uh invalid does not exist but why again we are forgetting every time now it should be valid okay so let's try to put all the field password email and let the rate test if i just put the here you can see that validation some address let's say house number 102 and again this is disabled because we have to select the uh, gender if this is selected uh, form is working fine again if i just click on the select gender click outside this is showing the message please select gender because there this is also uh, you can say that uh, option of selected but the value is empty there right again let me select their mail and now everything is uh working fine and add user is also enabled so this is how you can apply the validation with the template driven forms if you still have any doubt confusion you can ask me in the comment section please don't forget to subscribe my channel like this video share your feedback in comment section thanks everyone for watching this part